Was that not it? Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome once again to Black and White, where I have very excellent news. As it turns out, all I had to do was try to fight the Gremlin King again, and this time I won. Not only are the Gremlins not going to attack anymore, but the rain and lightning have stopped too. So what do you know? It seems like everything that was bad is completely gone now. So that's awesome. Miracle Wood. I mean, yeah, there's still a red tint to everything, but I mean, <laughs> that's such a small thing though. I can live with this. And I should probably get that third one eventually, but um, it's not a high priority right now. Right now, I just need to rebuild. That would be the priority. Because I did lose quite a lot to both the fire and the gremlins. But thankfully, there still seems to be a decent amount of people here. Even though my pet is letting loose anywhere he pleases, it would seem. Really wish you would just do that on the farmland. That would probably be more helpful, you know? Instead of contaminating people. I mean, granted, at least it's not in the food supply, so it's not as bad as it could be, but still a little bit weird, you know? 5% of the village, so two people. So that's not a lot. If that's 5%, then that would mean a village population of 40? wonder how you can find that out. Safely say the crash until they reach adulthood. A crash is a settlement that encourages people to have more children. Yeah, that's probably nice. Oh, look at that. Hey, creature. You did good. Although, you seem to reek. Maybe you should go into the water a little, huh? <laughs> what do you say? Let's go into the water, shall we? This can be a pretty chill let's play. Go into the water, my pet. Go into the water, my pet. I mean, you you did fight a gremlin and do other things, presumably. Ah, there we go. Maybe that's what he needed. He needed some water. He needed to drink some of it. There we go. I'm assuming the gremlins aren't going to attack anymore. That would just be messed up if they continued attacking after I beat their leader. As you can see, their leader's gone. And now they're just wandering around on that little hill of theirs. They can just stay on their hill until they die. Hey, buddy. Over here. I know um, you're not urgently needed to defend the village anymore, but um, don't wander too off, too far off, okay? Now you can cast all the miracles you want if you want to. You can wander around town if you want to. You're not restricted anymore. You should feel happy about that. Let's see, what's the food desire? 56%, that's quite a lot. Miracle food. There you go, my pet. He's learning. I'm learning. Nice. Good boy. Let's encourage that. Encourage the hell out of that. Good boy. That's a good boy. You're feeding my village. Good boy. That's right. Do that more often. I want you to do this more often. Because that was amazing. Such a good boy. You know, go get a drink of water if you need it. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, is he throwing food into the food supply? Oh, cool. Wait, what? What did he just do? Hope he didn't just throw his crap in there. Because that would be a little messed up. I'm assuming he threw some fish in there. And not that. He wasn't over there. Besides, he's got the leash of compassion, which should mean that he's encouraged to do good. You know? It's a good thing this provides so much prayer energy. You see? 
Maybe in time I'll eventually become good again. It'd be great if I knew exactly how close I am to at least becoming neutral again. You know? I know heal, food, wood, all this good stuff, that is considered good, but... I don't know how, how much you need for that. Let's go for the forest miracle, I guess. Ironically, I can sacrifice trees to help me. Which is kind of weird. What's with a skeleton? Probably for decoration. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's for decoration. Let's sacrifice trees for the forest miracle. Because that'll be funny. Let's find it funny, you know? Oh, he's encouraging dancing. That's my boy! Miracle Forest. Ha ha ha. Oh, he's at. We're having a good time. We're having a wonderful time. How about I make a little forest for us? Um, where is a good place for it? You know what? This area is barren over here. Let's check this out. Hey, creature. I want you to see this. I want you to take a, uh, take a good look at this. Maybe you'll learn how to cast this eventually. Check this out. Pretty awesome, isn't it? Are you not interested? At all? What's with you, creature? There goes all my prayer energy, which means it's already dead in the water, but hey. Whatever works. I'll just latch you to the town center. That way you'll always be in the center of town, if you know what I mean. I guess they want expansion. Well, okay, yeah, expansion is still a huge desire. 85% desire. Well, I guess I can give them what they want. You know, try to fulfill their needs a little bit. I did commit so much evil that I almost feel compelled to. Wood. Here, let's supply this. There we go. I don't really need more belief, but it always helps, I guess. Actually, come to think of it, I wonder if this has quit glitching. Because the wolf kept, it kept allowing itself to go through things. It was weird. Okay, come on. Come on, my faithful poison. I don't know what the sparks are all about. I wonder if they'll have any effect on the wolf should the wolf cross it. That would be interesting, I think. Seriously, what is with the wolf crossing things? What is with this daggum cheating wolf just crossing whatever boundary it feels like, huh? Just doesn't seem right. I see him. My guy only moves one square at a time, no matter what. It's a real shame. Hmm. Idea time. Yeah, yeah, this is big brain time. Or maybe not. Because it seems no matter what, that wolf is going to find a way out of it. Which is a real daggum shame. Hmm. If I could trip that wolf up somehow, I'd be good. But sadly, that is not the case. That wolf is smart. Far too smart for me. Look at that. Or in this case, the wolf just cheats. There was a wall there. There was a freaking wall right there. And the wolf just says, nope, uh, screw you. I'm just going to go through the barrier. I'm surprised the wolf doesn't clip through this freaking barrier. Are the sparkles the only thing keeping the wolf from crossing over into this barrier? I don't understand how this works. I mean, that doesn't even make any sense. Just not right, man. Oh, wait. Hmm. It's a shame that there's no way to restart. Ah, that's great. Okay, so the wolf touching the sparkles does nothing. 
That's good to know. Dead gimmick. I see. I don't know what those sparkles mean. Does it mean I have to get the wolf over there? Because I don't remember that being a part of it. Avoiding the wolf, Thomas will move one square. The wolf will always move two unless he reaches a barrier. We'll always head towards Thomas if he can. You can click on Thomas to miss a turn. Right. 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 Let's um, get the wolf as far away from Thomas as possible. I mean, that would be great if that could work. But it's not gonna work. It never works. Nothing works. I love how the LODs kick in so aggressively. Actually kind of funny. Hmm. Ooh, I can get out. Screw you, wolf. Doesn't matter if you move two spaces now. I'm right at the exit. Was the point not to exit? Was the point never to exit? Okay, there we go. I did it! Kinda. Barely. By the skin of my teeth, I did it. Finally. Okay, what is this? Odd creature has the power of great strength to cast. Huh. Neat. So I gained strength creature. Although I already had a few bubbles of that, but probably better if I could just cast it freely, you know? Weakness creature. But now, got it. We can do that. You better worship harder. You want that food? What do you think I just did? What do you think the whole point of that was? Just shake this off? Miracle food. There we go. There's a good boy. Yeah, leash of compassion, definitely. Want that. Not the leash of malevolence. I'm gonna call it that. Whatever it's called, it can't possibly be as cool as that. Let me see if that does have a name. I think it's the Leash of Aggression, actually. The Leash of Malevolence sounds cooler. Malevolence is just a cool sounding name, you know? Just me? It can't just be me. But anyway, you're gonna see my village is starting to thrive. I mean, after I took such a pounding before. Thank goodness, huh? Everything appears to be in a very stable position. Hell, more than stable, just prosperity. Prosperity all around. And I can get prayer energy just like that. Miracle food. So that's great. Oh wait. These are the ones that needed it more. Oops. My bad. Okay, is expansion nearly as badly needed? No, it is not. Civic building desire. Huh. Yeah, go figure. They're not easy to please, are they? Sadly, my temple isn't getting any less evil. What's it gonna take for me to get less evil? I've been doing everything possible to try to make myself less evil. I've even been randomly healing my own villagers. It's actually a little bit disheartening. But I guess it cannot be helped. I provide them food, I give them all these miracles. I cast all these miracles upon their faces, unwarranted. Why don't they love me? Well, they do love me, but... Miracle heal. Ah, that's great. What a time for it to be casted. Ah, that's a good creature. That's a very good creature. Let's heal some of these people. These people haven't been touched in a while. There we go. Enjoy. Oh. Hmm. What if there are any needs for this village? Do they even have a town center? It doesn't even look like they have a town center. You know, a store. R storehouse. This. They don't have a store. Storage container. That's a little unfortunate. I feel bad for them. 
I should have been helping that village out. Miracle Wood. But I've been so focused on hyper focused on this one that um it just fell by the wayside. You never notice what you're actually needing. Let's see, um civic building. New village center, which you'll need to I think um civic building is appropriate. I think that's um I think storehouse is covered by that. That house is built already, so it doesn't need this wood. You know, while we're waiting for that, maybe I ought to try to find the third guardian stone, huh? You know, I actually make some progress here. I get the feeling I am just twiddling my thumbs here. Anyway, I think I know where the third one is, though. It's over here. Oh wait, what's this? I should do Silver Scrolls too. What do we have here? At last, someone to hear my prayers. What is it you need? My neighbor, Adam, is a soul in torment. Kiko, his wife, has been kidnapped and taken to the Aztec village by Nemesis. Before he left, he made sure she stays alive only while Adam's faith in him remains. Please help them by rescuing Kiko and reuniting her with Adam. Hey boss, wasn't he the lonely guy with the Guardian Stone? Let's kill him! Why should we kill him? That's messed up. Why would you want to do that? What is your problem? Alright, he's evil. But, I mean, evil doesn't have to mean stupid, does it? Here's the Guardian Stone right here. I mean, theoretically, it should be a cakewalk, but I guess I gotta find where he is. Find Kiko in the Aztec village and reunite her with Adam. Hmm. Is this the Aztec village? There aren't, there aren't even any people here. Where is this Aztec village I'm hearing so much about? Rather peculiar. Nice stone structure that looks like a bridge. Like a natural bridge. Maybe that is, maybe this is the Aztec village. I mean, it is an Aztec temple. At least it looks like one. Oh wait, maybe this is it. Maybe this is the key here. Maybe I should bring my creature over here. Can my creature climb up that thing? I guess that's a question I shall have to answer, won't I? And now that I've gone through much of this Let's Play, just twiddling my thumbs for the most part, I think it's time I actually made some progress here. Aside from what I did between videos. What do we have here? I want to be a fisherman like my dad instead of a turtle farmer. My dad said I'd never be any good. Maybe he's right. When you tap the water, the fish will swim away from your hand. When they are all in the net, I'll be able to catch them and make my old man proud. That doesn't sound too hard. It's basically just hurting them. Oh, I can't do it. Or can I? But if I, if I don't have influence here, can I? Does this actually work? Because it doesn't look like it's working. It looks like they're just swimming around. Okay. That, that tapped. Okay, I had to right click, my bad. So I can do it. I just had the wrong idea. Okay. This shouldn't be too hard. It's like hurting the goats on Zelda Twilight Princess. Except it doesn't even have a time limit. Well, except the fish don't appear to remain in the net. They seem to love going wherever the hell they want. 
So that's a thing. You just gotta keep them all in there long enough. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Whoa! I caught the lot. My father will be so impressed. Here, have my favorite turtle as thanks for all your help. Aw, look at that. It's hey, a turtle. boss. If anyone's a good fisherman around here, it's you. Well, yes, but he's happy and that's what counts. We don't need recognition for our fishing abilities, do we? Swap your creature with this one if you want. Yeah, I like King Kong, but... That is a cute looking turtle. I mean, maybe I should make a save right here? The totem puzzle. You must raise and lower the totems until they are fully raised. Changing the height of one may change the height of up to five of the others. No, wrong thing. Can't wait. It's kind of like that tree puzzle, except different a little bit. At least I have more control over it. I have control over how far up they are, so that's something. Hmm. That one only influences that one. That one influences, uh, the... That one only influences itself. Awesome. So that shouldn't be too hard. I see. Come on, pull. Get completely raised, please. And I realized how dirty that sounded. But I don't care. Get completely extended, please. I guess that's about as extended as it's gonna get. Because if I try to pull on it anymore, it just recedes. And yes, I'm aware how dirty that sounds. That was almost intentional. Wait. Am I already doing it? Say, okay. Um, I should be just about, because that one only influences itself. Oh. Never mind then. So it doesn't just influence that one. Ah, frick. I think I clicked out of the game by accident. Okay, that's lovely. I'm gonna get both of those up. Because doing one affects the other. That's gonna be a problem. A dilemma, to say the least. And I can't pull that one completely up without these guys pulling down. Ah, but those two are the only ones that influence each other. Or maybe not. What in the world? Okay, the game does not want to stay in top field because it seems that just pulling on these causes adverse reactions. Come on. I just want the third one, this one, to be completely pulled up. But it's not going to happen. Because, you see, once I pull on that one, then that one... Oh, wait, now I see. Okay, that's weird. All this is weird, man. It's freaking weird. You know? Hmm. I can't seem to do it properly. Because no matter what, something is going to happen. To affect the others. Which is a damn shame. A damn shame. You don't think I'm just wasting my time here. You see, that works, but, um, then that won't work. I can get both of these, the third and the first, both completely pulled up without affecting the fourth one, then I'll be home free. That doesn't seem to be the case here. Doesn't seem possible. Actually, there might be a way. 
Now, is there something that affects the second one? Specifically. The fifth one literally only affects itself, so... That's not much of a concern. Oh, wait. The sixth one also affects that one. So there might be a way after all. Huh. The fifth one, however, only affects itself, of course. So that's a thing. A little crazy here. What do you think? Yeah, forget it. If I do solve it, I'll solve it some other time. I'm wasting my time here. Swap your creature with this one if you want. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Is this the save room? Challenge room scroll. The scroll. Oh, wait. It's a challenge room. How do I go into the save room? What's the hotkey for this? I do not know. Maybe I should check. Controls. Come on. Challenge. Save room. Okay, so it's F7. Yeah, I technically already have saves. Previous land. Let's see. I'm just gonna go turtle. You know what? I got a better idea. I like turtles. You know, for that. That kid that ended up going on Daniel Tosh's show. Good stuff. Because why not? Anyway. Where is that lone man with the guardian stone? Oh, look at that. Is this the Aztec village? It's a village, but I don't know if it's the village. Zero belief left. What? You know what, creature, come over here. I'm curious about this. This is rather peculiar. Maybe that's what I need. Then again, maybe not. I have no idea. Well, while my creature makes his journey over there, maybe I ought to prove more benevolent to these people. You know? Need food? Need uh, healing? Need anything? Well, um, they have a wood desire, so I guess that's cool. Wood. Miracle wood. I need to make a civic building. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to help you with that. Rest assuredly. Luckily, I've got the extreme prayer energy on my side. There we go. That ought to be good. Now, oh, um, did my creature actually make his... Okay, he's making his way over there now. It says zero belief left. What does that even mean? Oh, wait, is this the one? Is this Adam? No, wait, it's his wife? Yeah. Looks like it. Well, luckily, I found her. I think. I don't know. We made it. Hello. Are you all right? Heal them. Heal them. Or was that healing? I don't know. Oh, right. I think that's just to get into the miracles menu. I forgot how to do the, do the gestures and it won't show me how because the game has had interface issues for a while now. But now that I think about it, it's probably explaining a few things. Set her down. Actually, pick her up again. And, uh, set her down all the way over here. That'll be good. We're going on a magical journey, you and I. Trust me. You'll love it. Of 
hopefully my creature will stay focused long enough. Or I can just make sure that he stays focused. Although, I'd kind of like to look over the needs of my village, too. Hey, creature, can I trust you? I can trust you, right? I mean, you've proven loyal to me, haven't you? Surely I don't have to guide your hand every step of the way, do I? Maybe going inside the fence would be better. Let's do it. I'm out of time, though, unfortunately. We gotta do this fast. Good boy. <laughs> Okay, is that it? Find Kiko in the Aztec village and reunite her with Adam. Oh, was that not it? Well, that's unfortunate. What's even more unfortunate is that I gotta go. So, as I go back to my village and try to make some scaffolding here, I gotta say, that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around. Like building construction, and I will see you next time. There we go, village store. Village store. Like village construction? No. Learn what it is. Okay, I guess that'll do. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one. And have a nice and pleasant day. Do you need any more wood? I mean, I would imagine not. You got quite a lot of wood. Okay, see you later. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.